Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can set the standards in the sheet, Generative Sheet Metal Design Workbench in Kitsiavi 5. So my Generative Sheet Metal Design Workbench is already open and uh, what you have to do right now is to find the Walls Toolbar or else go to Insert, you have the Sheet Metal Parameters tool over here. So invoke the sheet metal parameters tool by any of the method. So I will use insert sheet metal parameters. So you have the sheet metal parameters dialog box, uh, the window over here, and you have a couple of options here: the parameters, bend extremities, and bend allowance. So I'm going to explain you each of these tabs here, and let me start with the parameters tab right here. So the option in this tab are used to set the parameters related to the sheet thickness and the bend radius. The first option right here is the thickness. The thickness pinner is used to specify the sheet metal thickness. The value that you set in this pinner will be displayed as the default value while creating the sheet metal part. You have the second second option right here is the default bend radius. The default bend radius pinner is used to set the inner radius of the bend. Remember that it's the inner radius. Now we have the next tab that is the bend extremities tab. Let's see we have a couple of options over here. Whenever you are working with the uh, bend extremities tab you need to remember that you need to know what exactly is the relief. Whenever you bend a sheet metal component or create a flange such that the bend does not extend through the length of the edge, a groove is added at the end of the bend so that the walls of the sheet metal do not intersect when folded or unfolded. This particular groove that is being created between the walls when you do that is called the relief. So we have a couple of reliefs over here. So choose the bend extremities tab and then select an option from the drop down list which you can see over here so you have a couple of options here square round linear which I'm going to explain you one by one and you have one more option over here the drop down and you can uh, uh, visually you can see how your uh, relief is going to be so let me just explain you one by one so the first one that is the minimum with no relief. This option is selected by default and it does not provide any relief to the common area between the supporting walls of the sheet metal. Next one that is called relief is uh, between the supporting walls of the sheet metal. It provides a uh, square relief. And the next one over here is the round relief. So the round relief how it will be like it, it's going to provide a round relief between the supporting walls so it's uh, the figures are all uh, self-explanatory but still I'm going to go through each options so the next option is the linear relief so what you can see over here is a linear relief which is being provided between the supporting walls of the sheet metal part and the next option the tangent so uh, just remember that linear and uh, tangent are almost the same whereas in tangent you have a curvature so it's going to create a tangential curvature over here so here in the tangent it provides a tangent relief between the supporting walls and you have uh, another one that is a maximum and uh, in this one on selecting the maximum option the bend is calculated between the extreme edges of two supporting walls so what you can see here is the extreme edges between the two supporting walls and the next option that is the closed option what you can see over here the closed option provides relief to the intersection between the bends of two supporting walls and you have the last option that is a flat joint let's see what the flat joint is in the flat joint option the flat relief to the intersection between the bends of two supporting walls is being given and uh, that's about the bend extremities tab so once you start working you'll come to know more about it and you have the bend elements so bend elements is mainly based on the k factor so you need to know what exactly is a k factor K factor is the ratio between the distance from the neutral bend line and the upper surface of the sheet metal part to the total thickness of the part.
so remember that whatever sheet metal parameters that you are going to set in this particular option you can always change it in any point any point of your designing process and one more thing that you need to note is uh, once you're not set once you're not setting this sheet metal parameters you are not going to get any of these options enabled so uh, wait a minute and see that all the options are activated and once I click cancel everything is going to get deactivated so just remember that you are going to set your sheet metal parameters first and then you're going to work with it so that's about all about uh, the sheet metal parameters which is an important option in the sheet metal design generative sheet metal design in KTAV5 so hope you enjoyed my video and I hope this particular tutorial is going to help you in your uh, uh, project careers etc so thank you so much for watching thank you